Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and a brand new video on Marvel Contest of Champions. Hey, I want you to guess who this is. Bananas and Boycotts. That's right, that was Seton Man of Grant Legends. A little bit of a concoction there, if you kind of grab like Venom Pool. Uh, so yeah, that wasn't that wasn't really funny. Do you know what? Half time, I don't know why I try, so you know, on with the video. <laughs> So in my attempt to keep you mildly entertained, we're going to be opening up over a hundred prems and at the same time opening up about seven, maybe eight four star crystals. It really depends on how many prems kind of clock over to three stars to then four stars duped. Yeah, you get the idea. So let's go and open these crystals up while I wear my Swedish chef shirt. Or the Florida the scooter you the bore bore bore. Yeah, I don't see many Swedes actually speaking like that. We're say, saying that like PewDiePie does actually sound a little bit like that. Ah, oh, my name's Pidge, and I speak like this, and then change the pitch. It's really weird. Uh, he sounds like someone out of South Park all the time. Maybe he should, he should work on changing his accent. He's lived in the UK long enough. Surely you could pick up a little bit of a, a twang here or there. Now for the purpose of making the YouTube videos, I'm going to be popping these and not spinning them because like there's nothing of value to spinning them out nowadays. So the first one's in there, eight duplicates, nothing of interest. One three star, which is good in some ways for max signature. And it's great when you get a point in that game where you're getting all these max signatures. It is amazing because then you're getting like shards quicker. You're then increasing your roster quicker. And it, there is a point where this all comes into play and everything is great for you. So we've got a load of prems to go through now. We've we've got just going to get these kind of in the spin, not in the spin, but in the in the really thing. Really thing? It's really a thing. So let's let's continue with the pop. I need a ten. I need I need like ten four stars. Ten four stars? I think I'm drunk. I haven't drunk in anything, but you know when you're just like, hey. So that's a good start, ish. Second load of uh, ten four stars gives that uh, that first uh, first four star, which I, I was hoping for, as uh, it's five star crystal shards, which I want. I want them five star crystal shards. Next 10, all duplicates, nothing of interest, nothing that's going to make me go whoopity do. Oh, isn't that fantastic? Flop did it a wee. What other kind of like positive sayings are there? Oops, giddy poops, or uh, I don't know, I think they're more British isms because we're all eccentric and weird. Definitely eccentric and weird. I think that's the only way of kind of coping with life's. Uh, life's just boring half the time. You have to like put a smile on your face. Uh, life's either boring or it's really stressful, and that's the thing. You've you've got to you've got to smile as much as possible. You've got to find happiness and joy in the most bleakest of situations to just get yourself through. I think it's all it's always very good to keep yourself incredibly busy when when you feel you're kind of like sad and depressed. Take little kind of like steps to read. Everyone should have a to do list, and it's just like a list of stuff you'd like to do. A bucket list is always really helpful in any case, but it's all about having a structure to your day. I've got to do this for work I've got to do this at home don't always get to achieve them but that's the same same thing of going like well you've got something to continue on another day so you've always got something you're always looking to achieve on a different day and that can be really helpful to a lot of people so if you can do something like that then 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 do that keeps your focus level there with uh, recording videos I'm always like right I want to be doing something else if I'm not recording videos then I want to be doing stuff in the garden I tell us one thing I like having is a garden you get to put your own stamp on it, you know, see stuff grow. It's absolutely beautiful. You know, we haven't had seen many four stars. Like, have the drop rates gone and been nerfed? I'm getting a load of threes there, which is probably a load of max signatures coming my way. A load of max signatures to kind of crystals, which is going to mean a lot more shards. So it is. Got 20 more. First 10 of the penultimate. Yeah, it's not been great. One four star so far is pretty darn pathetic. It looks like we've uh, got more signatures on one specific champion. And yeah, very disappointing so far. Last 10 that's going in that I know of. I think I've got some more shards, but you know, this is the last substantial 10. Oh, there's connection problems. Do you know what are the chances of that? Here we go. Connection problems one, three star, two, three star. And then at the end, nothing. Not a sausage. And look, problems connecting to network there. It's not a problem with my network. My network's fine. It's you in Canada that's the problem. Uh, not not you as a people in calendar, obviously, but um, Kaban being a problem. 76 max signatures, and then uh, uh, we've got eight for the, uh, the three-star version. Those are the, for the two-star version, so it's still cool in any case. And just for the halibut, we've got five more here. Just one three-star. 
bit pathetic, but I I'm moving on, man. I've got to move on. And we've indeed got eight of these four stars to put into the spin. Quite excited with this. I do like four stars. I know a lot of people say there's no value in four stars. I beg to differ with certain things. Like when it comes to arena, most of the time that I find that my streak is continued on, especially in the featured, uh, featured four star, or was it the feature, the featured four star, and sometimes in the featured five star, it's all about the four stars at 550 picking up the slack for me. That's a solid fact, and I, I absolutely love it. But first four star that we get is the symbiote version of Spidey. That's now it's like past 99 for me, so that's a max signature crystal coming my way. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's a good start. Next one coming up. Hopefully something new. I wouldn't mind getting uh, Killmonger because I don't have him. A Star Lord, yeah, 99 Star Lord. So that's a nine. That's another max signature crystal coming my way. That was one of the first champions when when I went and got him because it took me nearly two years to get a Star Lord. And I think the same thing will probably be for the uh, for the the five star version. I've not got him. It'll probably take two years since the point that the five stars released into the game that I'll probably end up getting him if I'm honest. It will be great when I do get him because then I'll probably then awaken him and then put a load of sig max signatures on him because I have got a load of tech max signatures to use and I'm certainly not using a rocket raccoon. Oh my word, it's another one. Three max signature crystals on the trot. Hopefully this is, well, this is good in some ways because it does mean that a lot more five star shards are coming my way. I'll probably pocket a further uh, three times 275 at the point of uh, of kind of doing the max signature. So, so far it's been a case of a hell of a lot of ISO and uh, a good chunk of, uh, of five star shards, but we've still got a further five to go. We'll have eight in total. So could this be that uh, I, I need an awakening on my Gladiator Hulk? So this would be hopeful if I could get it. It's Blade. I go for it. Thing is, I go for a drought of like not getting anything Blade, and then and like the last few four stars that I've done uh, Blade. Now I've got him at max signature, so uh, at four star. So that's cool because I use the four star version predominantly in Alliance Quest, and the five star version, obviously, which I've now awakened. Yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, that I still got a smile on my face about that because if you if you're following the channel from from the get go, you will know that I had luck with getting Blade. Yeah, fantastic luck when I got Blade, but then it took me months and months to awaken him. So it took uh, what about? I'm just trying to hazard a guess now. So November, December, January, February, March, April, May, June, July. So that's eight months. It took me eight months to uh, to awaken him. So. Yeah, I st it's like it's still cool though. I'm not doubting. It. I'm glad that I eventually did it, and because uh, I've been trolled, I felt like I've been trolled a little bit. But let's have a look. Max in just at three. We've then got Blade and we've got Colossus. I would have loved to have seen like a, a real kind of decent buff to Colossus, but uh, I just don't think he's on the cards to be buffed. It's not a substantial champion. Whether or not I'd like to see this um, new mutant champions being added. And the old one's getting a little bit of a buff. The old man Logan gets a little bit of a buff with Sabretooth's regeneration. Uh, Sabretooth's a synergy, which gives a little bit extra for his regeneration. So I really want Sabretooth next. And it skips over two new champions that I would have potentially wanted and one that I've already got. That's, uh, again, Sod's Law at play, but um, I'm still, I'm still like, happy about it. As uh, it's an awakening, uh, still f more five star shards like that. I would settle for at the moment. More five star shards are always better than uh, no five star shards. But we've got one more after this one. So this is the penultimate one now. Gladiator Hulk awakening or uh, ugh, damn it, damn it, damn it, damn it. But that's fine. It's still five star shards. Positives where positives are. The final one. Killmonger or Gladiator Hulk. I don't. I mean, I would have liked them as a five star. Of course, I would. But for me, I, I, I still see some sort of value in four stars, and I, I really would like to get these ones to kind of then just experiment with them and see how good they are, how effective they are, uh, whether or not I would then enjoy them and playing them out in five star in more kind of competitive game modes. Uh, I usually taste test a lot of my four stars in uh, Realm of Legends and in Arena. But the final one is going to be. It's a dog arc. Thing is, I won't use him. I'd probably use him at five star, but 
He's awake now, so I get to test out the signature ability, maybe prepare for a five star usage at a later date. So that's been the video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy the video, hit that like button and subscribe for more Marvel Contest of Champions based content. And as always, I shall catch you on the flip side. Bye bye for now.